this um, metal shed and one of the reasons I bought it was because there were lots of uh, videos on YouTube about how to uh, put this type of shed up because uh, I'm not very good at instructions well when I got the shed I found out that um, none of them corresponded to uh, to the actual item I bought although the finished product looked similar so we had to go back to um, Actually, the instructions, which weren't particularly brilliant. It was minus two outside, so we thought we'd uh, construct the, the panels and the roof indoors. So the first job was to try and uh, figure out what went where. And um, luckily the uh, parts are all, are all labelled. There are no really big bolts to do up on this on this shed. It's 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 held together with these tiny little screws which join the the metal together. They they go through the first hole, which is big enough for the entire screw, and the the second hole is is drilled, but it it's 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 quite small, and the screw has to sort of self tap into that uh, into that second piece of metal. It's, it's quite fiddly and it's quite difficult to keep the two pieces of metal together. I did try putting a block underneath it, a block of wood underneath the, the bottom piece, but it's it just seemed to make it more even more fiddly. Uh, to make it more complicated, the you have a, like a little rubber seal which goes on some of the screws on the roof, uh, which is sort of like a little uh, washer, a little rubber, you can see them there. Now they're not pre-drilled, so you've got to try and force the screw through that, keep the thing over the hole and find the hole, the second hole underneath. All, all a little bit fiddly really. They advise laying it down in the instructions, but we found eventually it was easier to just stand up and so somebody can push the, the metal together on the other side or you can get round the other side to push the two bits together and you can see the the screw there just going through the second bit of metal it all looks a bit flimsy when you're constructing it but it does uh, strengthen up as you get it more joined together this is the roof section here, which is three panels. Now, you'll notice I'm wearing gloves. Uh, my wife isn't, she's got tougher hands than I have. But uh, the metal is quite sharp and they do advise wearing gloves. And I found if you're just holding it, it's fine. But um, when you're trying to force bits together, I did cut myself a couple of times. Uh, they do send gloves with the in in the pack, so if you haven't got any, there, there are some. This is the door section. Now you don't actually put the doors on until you've uh, got the, the thing completely constructed. Now they do do a a base kit for this but um, I, I didn't buy it I, I, I wanted to go for the cheap option because I, I I've got this bit of um, block paving here which is um, going to suffice for the floor 
and uh, I, 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 it's it's going to sit in this this corner, which is very very tight. So I don't think it's really going to blow anywhere. And I uh, I was going to just sort of uh, pin it, uh, ram some uh, pins through, and then put some uh, a bit of a bit of concrete down around the edges to keep the mice out. They do supply a, a little corner section with some uh, pre-drilled holes and some uh, sort of raw bolts which you could drill into concrete and in fact all of the videos that I saw on online they, they seem to be drilling into a concrete base, a solid concrete base so that, that can be done if you, if, you've got it, if you need to anchor it in an exposed area. Now, you see here I've got one of these little um, electric drill things, uh, sort of rechargeable battery things, which when I eventually uh, got it charged up and working, definitely improved the, uh, the, the time of getting the screws in. We're putting the doors in here, and um, they're just on two, two runners. Uh, one at the top and one at the bottom and they just sort of sit in them and they, they have a little runner at the uh, at the bottom of the of the door with a couple of sort of little wheels on the actual mechanism for keeping the door central so that so that the doors come up to a stop uh, in the middle of the gap for the door, I, I couldn't figure out, and I had two bits of metal there uh, which had to go in somewhere. I, I couldn't figure out how they went in, but um, I bodged something up with one of them so that the doors actually just stop in the middle. Else, when they're pushed together, uh, and, and even when they're locked, you can slide the whole unit along without a stop in the middle. Once the doors are on, it's time for the roof. Just a couple of things about these sheds in general. Uh, I, I got this shed off of eBay and it was at uh, the fantastic price of £179 delivered. That's for an 8x4, eight, eight foot by 4 foot. Now, with the price of wood at the moment, uh, you're looking 350 just for a little 6x4 wooden shed. Of course, the main advantage with a wooden shed is that you don't get the condensation that you get in a in a metal shed. Now, what I was planning to do in here was any sort of metal items that could rust, I was just going to cover with a, a sheet or a plastic sheeting. Because 
there's no real way around a condensation problem. It's just like a van, really. It, it drips off the ceiling no matter what you do. The other thing, of course, is security. Now, no shed is secure. I don't care what you've got. It can be a shipping container, even I've had a few of those in the past. Uh, they'll still get into them if they want to get into them. And even though this is metal, I could smash those doors in, no problem if I was determined. But uh, you just got to make sure that uh, you've either got whatever in there is insured or you can afford to replace it. As regards to a sort of visual deterrent for the opportunist uh, chap, uh, they don't actually supply any type of uh, locking uh, device on it or means of locking it other than chaining the handles together now the handles are just plastic so that's uh, a little bit of a uh, incentive for anyone just to hammer those off so what i did was put a couple of exhaust brackets together and they can be uh, padlocked together just they're metal so it just looks a little bit more difficult to open. With regards to time uh, to construct this uh, unit, they say in the, in the uh, instructions three to five hours for two men, but uh, this took us two days, starting about nine and finishing about four. I mean, we weren't really going at it, but you want to allow yourself plenty of time. It's if you knew what you were doing and you'd done one before, you could probably do it in three hours, but or maybe five hours. But uh, you've got to have all the tools, know know what goes where and what have you. And it's um, you best to leave yourself time and and take your time on it. regards to the product overall, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, all of the holes seem to line up, I didn't have to do any drilling. And um, the only fault I would say, which is what I've had with a lot of these things in the past, is the instructions. You know, please spend a bit more time on the instructions. Better diagrams and uh, uh, actually for the item you know not one that covers the six foot the eight foot and the ten foot or whatever we found that we spent a lot of time um, trying to match the instructions up to a picture of the finished product off of uh, uh, eBay where we bought the the item and you can figure it out it's 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 really not that complicated it's not like a greenhouse, which is way more complicated, I think. Well, thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye.